What is going on? Is Taylor? And it's your boy Dre. And Dre played some games. Dre, what'd you play? I played some games. So have you ever wondered? You, I, I, my whole life, I watch anime, I watch cartoons, I watch movies. You always wonder, like, wouldn't it be cool if I were Spider Man, right? You're Spider Man. If I were Spider Man, right? Oh, you you see all that little whipping around, like, or the Flash, like you see him flying around. That would be so cool, right? Yep. Well, you remember Attack on Titan, right? You know, I, I couldn't really get into Titan. I watched a couple episodes, but I couldn't really get into it. Okay, I'm going to tell you, I finished the first season, but I couldn't get that far into it either. The, and this is just a me specific thing, but the anime uh -huh. style, but they like, it always feels like they're always nonstop yelling at each other. <laughs> like they're always so intense. Like they're always like, ah! I couldn't get into it either, but I did feel like the, the you did you see enough to see like them fighting like the giant? Uh, oh, yeah, the thing? Titans, yeah. yeah. That's the part's actually pretty cool, right? Um, they had like these little systems where they basically Spider-Man themselves around and launching themselves like with these little like uh, I should know the name of it because I just played it, but like they, they'll you they'll call you Tilly Belt because I'm too stupid to remember her name. Okay. Tilly Belt with their knives and they kind of like whip themselves around. That looked really cool in an anime, and I will tell you, I played the Attack on Titan VR game, and it is really cool in the game too, right? Mm -hmm. it, it's a sense of being Spider-Man. You fly around and like the way it works is like you have these two little joysticks. Yeah. In the game, but in the you know, these two little joysticks, I had like these little, they shoot like, you they you can aim whips and shoot them with that. Uh -huh. And then you like these little blades. It's actually really cool the way it's done. You feel like you're in the Attack on Titan video it, in that world. Yeah. Like, it feels like you're in an anime and that the way the actual whipping around works is pretty cool for most of the time, right? Most of the time. Um, I thought this was great. I, when I played the training missions, it's like, okay, this is kind of fun. Like you whip pull yourself forward and you kind of like fly through the sky it is like a really cool experience at first yeah. and then 30 minutes later i felt like i was gonna throw up well. oh really <laughs> too much <laughs> all right so i'm old now right so you get too immersed I, in the game I, I wonder if this is an age thing because i used uh -oh. to be able to ride roller coasters when i was a kid like it was nothing you know the the, the teacups we would spin that motherfucker so much it, we were trying to break it I, I tell that's how much me and my trying to get lift yeah, off yeah. <laughs> me and my cousin spun that thing so much you thought we were trying to break it and we if you were on the outside you would just see our arc speaker going vroom, <laughs> right now that i'm old like i i can't even look at that spinning cups without feeling like, like how do they do i don't know how to see how they do it yeah and it might just be an age thing right go ahead so when I got into it, like the, the tutorial missions were all fun. I'm telling you, like this whipping around, it feels natural. It feels kind of cool. Like if you're whipping around the city, it's like, wow, this is actually kind of cool. Until you actually fight a Titan. So you got to whip towards the Titan and whip. Like you're not whipping just towards it, but whipping around it, right? Okay. And that's where things get weird. It's like, because you're going like a, it feels like you're going, you're probably like going like at best five miles an hour, but it feels like you're going 30 miles an hour. It's like you shoot onto it, you whip around it and you pull forward and you, you slash at it um that it feels like i need nasa training to <laughs> actually be able to do that right yeah because that like i kid you not because you asked for game because i did this the first time uh, like a couple weeks ago and when i took the headset off i had the biggest headache i felt so dizzy and i was like i'm never playing that game again <laughs> and taylor uh the slave driver over here was like look look just... you gotta play the game again or <laughs> else so i played it again last night and i thought maybe maybe it was just that one time i'll take it a little bit slower I try to take it slower, but then once you get that giant fucking Godzilla like monster trying to grab at you, then you like panic and you're like, oh shit. <laughs> and then like you're naturally like just whipping and like flying yourself around. And yeah, yeah I had to take it off again. I was like, okay, I'm, I'm now I can say I had never played this game again. <laughs> but I was looking because I think I, I got alpha um, access because when originally when I looked at the scoreboard, it was blank. Uh huh. And now the scoreboard has a bunch of names. So there's people playing this who probably are, they have really high scores and really good. Um, Again, the game is actually has some fun bits there. I don't know what I'm doing wrong because uh -huh. you're supposed to kill these titans, right? And like every stage I play, you have to kill at least three of them, or at least at least two. At least that stage I play, I can only ever kill one of them, um, and I, I just do what I think I'm supposed to do, which is basically whip around them, okay, whip at their neck, uh, dash forward, and then slash the thing. It's pretty actually pretty cool the way they uh, break it down, but that sounds great on paper until you actually start playing it and like you're. Like, I think if I was doing like a controller, it would be way easier mm -hmm. um, than me whipping around in virtual reality, like spinning around this thing. Like, I'm telling you, even me thinking about it right now, <laughs> and like, no, legit, I'm actually like feeling kind of dizzy in my head. Um, like I said, it is one of those things that sounds like if you ever watch the Attack on Titan anime, you see them flip around and that looks so cool. 
and you actually get a chance to do that and it is the most i i can't see myself quite literally ever playing the game again and this isn't the shit on the game this is saying like there is like a degree of motion sickness that comes from game to game that is sometimes doable sometimes not depending on the game you play yeah um certain games i was never i think i played um temple run in vr one time and it was the most off-putting game because it just was like the way like you play temple run on your phone yeah you like you know just, that in vr was not fun <laughs> um certain roller coaster games i play are fun in vr some of them aren't um there's this really fun like star wars game where you're flying around in tie fighters that's fun um this game i cannot ever like say it i could it looked really cool to be a a, a, a attack on titaner I can't think of their name, so I'm just making up words at this point. What it's really about? We said it was actually the way it actually works, the way the mechanics of the game work. It feels so cool mm -hmm. until you actually have to kill a titan and you're trying to whip around them and then like, you know, panic mode since then. So there's probably some people that get really, really good at that where it's not nerve dizzying and like I genuinely feel like I need to take a Benadryl when I play that game. That's how you know or drama mean. Yeah, I mean, yeah, drama I mean, yeah. Mean, yeah. Um, I need like. Or I need to like, I don't know. Like I can't. If there was a way to stretch before the game, so I didn't get dizzy, I would suggest doing that. Um, How much space do you need to play in the game? So, the way VR works in general. Oh, I'm, I'm sorry. First, what are you playing on? What? what, what oh, I, play, I play on Quest Three. So I've met a Quest Three. I met a Quest Two. But I'm playing on Three because that has like a much better tracking system. Okay. But this game, I have like a. Um, like a, a desk chair that you can do like a full 360 rotation. Yeah. So as long as you have that in like, so I don't know. as long as you have that and you can like do this, then you're good. Okay. So if you can have a chair and you can get a full 360 and then you can stick your arm out while in the 360 while you're not hitting anything, that's all you need. It Would works you think you better sitting up or sitting down? I did it both. Um, I did it standing up and sitting down. Standing up part it was, was just as fine. It was just, you know, more leg action. Sitting down. It's a little awkward because you're doing this a lot. You're pulling towards you when you're sitting down. It's, that motion seems a little more lacking. But when you're standing up, this is a much easier motion. Gotcha. Um, so it's easier standing up. But again, you can still play it sitting down. Like I, I thought it'd be a, a major difference sitting down because mm -hmm. I, I played it sitting down because uh, I didn't want to go downstairs and clean that space up again. But the difference was my name. Uh, the one thing though, which did seem weird, I felt shorter <laughs> in the game sitting down. I guess because uh -huh. they probably based it because like there's a way the game like measures your height. I didn't know this, but apparently the if you because it takes the controllers and it's like hey stretch out to your left and right, and based on that length it can determine your height. Because it, oh. it was actually pretty accurate. It's like hey you're five five. I was like yeah that's actually 100 accurate. <laughs> and all I did was like do like stretch my arms out like this. So I was like oh yeah, nice. based on that you're five five. I was like huh that there must be a way to calculate that. So you present it. Stupid right. science. Yeah, it was interesting. Um, so it made my, but when I was standing up, my character felt five, five, cause I guess the headset was probably higher cause me standing up versus sitting down. Cause now I felt like I was like close to the ground. Yeah. That matters none except for like when you're talking to the, the menu. And I actually like the menu that they have you basically signing your life away in this little book. Um, I'm not so up on the attack on Titan story that I know what all that means, but it looked pretty cool. The one thing that really did bug up me besides the motion sickness things is VR in general has this little way of like um, presenting information to you, right? Okay. Uh, there's a clever way because you have six degrees of freedom, basically meaning you can move forward, backwards, left, right, up, down, and you can look all the way around you, right? 360 degree uh, visual and then six degrees of freedom. The way to Attack on Titan decides to present information for you is I call it VR theater, where <laughs> you have this whole world around you where they can like put something here, they can put something in there, they can put something above you. And they just, instead of doing that, they just put like this little screen you can look into, <laughs> like a little, like a portal into another world. And the rest of you is like all like a black void. It's like all this 360 motion and you decide to show Wasted. everything and like this little black void that, well, it is kind of cool. Cause like, if you look in it, it's like, it, it can take, it's like, you can peek around. Yeah. Like it has perspective, but it's still a perspective window in a black void. Um, and it's even interesting because when you start the game, they start you and it's like, it almost feels like you're like floating above hell. It's like you're like around like all this fire and everything. It's like that looks cool. Why not yeah. use that? <laughs> and then have like the like the way I think it should have did like have like because like they even show you these like these images and like very two D images like throughout the story. 
but they just put it in one place. They like, should like show it here and fade that away, then show it there and then fade that away. And they have like where you're interacting with the entire 360 environments you move around. Uh -huh. But no, they just show it in like one space. Like I said, they do the VR theater where it's just it's one little square and you just got to look at it from there. They should make it more like even track your like it tracks your face. So whenever you look, it tracks with you or not. It was just I hate when VR games and this isn't just the Attack on Titans problem. This is a game where you have all this free space and you find like you get overwhelmed. Like, well, let's just show it in this little black hole here. Mm -hmm. And it had perspective at least, so it looks like you were looking in a black hole, but it was still a black hole in the void. So they could make that better, I feel like, um, and make it feel like you're like, because so uh, Five Nights at Freddy did this thing where they kind of felt like they put you on like, um, a track, like a, uh, like a, like a Disney ride. Like a dolly? Yeah. Like, like, like a Disney ride, like a yeah. Haunted Mansion where they kind of sit you in and then they show you it's basically the vr theater but they show you like you're you're kind of on a track so you're going by and they show you like a window of something that happened and you kind of pass it by so you can look back and you can still see it yeah behind you but then like the next one comes by and like so they're progressing the story like a ride like oh welcome to five nights of freddy da, 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 da. and like oh hey and this is what this has happened here and like, mm -hmm. they, they're doing it in a way where they're utilizing this element of vr where you can go move around well you can't move around because you're not dolly but there you can look around and like you it, it's done like in a way where you're in a ride and so it, it feels better like it's a vr theater mm -hmm. but motion theater so it's interactive in some sorts where the way they presented the information in the story i didn't get that far into the campaign again i can't i could not beat the fucking first stages i beat the training but it always died the last um titan mm -hmm. but when i did see the, it was like that again vr theater which is weird because when you're in a me menu, it, you're actually standing on top of like this tower and you can see the entire city. So it, it should have just showed the VR theater while standing on top of this tower in the entire city. So mm -hmm. I don't understand why they didn't do it that way because they have this, these visual background assets there. But when they showed the story to you, they showed it in the VR theater. Either way, yeah. all that said that there's a game here. Um, and if you can take the whipping around, like, I think I was just bad at it because when as soon as I would... So, it's really kind of creep, creepy and scary when you get this giant monster and he's like, so in the game, you're basically like a small human and you're facing fighting Godzilla, right? You've seen Attack on Titan, yeah. so you mm -hmm. the concept. When that thing grabs you and it's about to eat you, your brain panics. And you're like, ah! <laughs> <laughs> right? Because it, it looks like, and he's like, and you feel like he's coming to your brain and like, even though you know it's fake, it feels so like, ah, he's going to eat me. Yeah. So you just panic, right? Um, so when I was getting the game, you, know, you start getting chased, you're like just whipping around as fast as you can, like you're just panicking and that, I think that's what's causing me partially to get the motion sickness. Because when I was looking in, the tutorial stages just mostly have you going straight or like straight lines and you don't really have to whip around anything. I mean, you can if you want to, Yeah. but it's just about going straight. So that is fine. But the moment you need to whip around anything is when everything goes to hell. Where do the um, points come in? You said there's a leaderboard. Um, I have no idea. Oh, okay. <laughs> like you get points for like... I guess you get yeah you get a score at every stage when you kill like a titan. Uh -huh. It's like because it's it's time too. It's like you have X amount of time to kill titans, and you can do it like I'm pretty sure like it's like a heart like a um, star system. Like if you do it really cool, like because the way they show you, like you're supposed to zip on their back, pull towards, and then hit the rockets and then slash. And if you do that like twice, you can kill them faster. But I always had to, or you can like do this thing where you like kind of. Like, slash at their legs and when they bend over you can like kind of slash them and their then head slash and head yeah so i'm assuming that there's some element that i like, give you style points okay again i could never get past three titans i at best i killed two of them and i got partially into the third one but then, then like i time ran out for me every single time and again that's on top of me trying to like not throw up throw up <laughs> so again there's a game here and if you don't get motion sickness from games more power to you one last thing, it's how fun. was the sound? It's great. Hey, sound great. Found it great. Uh, the way it sounded, the like I said, everything about the game is actually pretty good, except for if whipping around. And controls uh, easy to use. Controls easy yeah, to get. Yeah, uh... very natural. They feel like the way the controls like you have these two blades, and you need to get, get you have to get rid of the blade once you break it. So you like hit a button, mm -hmm. and then you reach down to your bag, and then it refires. I mean, it feels all natural. So the the controls are there, the mechanics are there. It's just when you actually get into the game. Yeah. The actual movement to me again, drama mean if that's for you, but yeah, that's when everything went to hell. Um, 
but the way it looks, it looks like you're in the anime and it feels like you're in an anime. And the actual like whipping around when there's no titans, it feels satisfying. Also, I was always I felt very confused on what I was supposed to do outside of you know kill titans is the easy part. Uh -huh. But for a long time, it felt like I was supposed to follow somebody and like I would, they would just disappear real quick, and I would never see them again. And maybe I just didn't understand how to kill titans because the titans pretty much always facing towards me. So trying to whip around them is hard because as soon as I whip, he just turns and follows me. Yeah. <laughs> I think, what am I doing wrong? That's when I started like trying to swipe at their legs and like that did a lot better. But then like you know, that takes a lot of whipping around and at some point you're just like okay yeah i can't even okay honestly like generally thinking about it i can feel my head like whipping around like okay i'm yeah so all this to say like a spider-man game would be great first person it's probably not that great in, <laughs> in reality to a degree <laughs> yeah when you're actually whipping around like oh uh, uh who, who knows how spider-man actually does it well so yeah it, it's one of those things that sounds really great on paper in execution and maybe again it might just me me be at at video games but i couldn't do it um again stylistically it's fun there's a game to be had here that it's like that if it could be if it was like whip racers where you're just going in a straight line yeah and you just have to keep spider-man your way down the straight line that would have been fun and then maybe like few like turns and curves it's when you have to like whip around like in 180 degrees that he, I felt like, yeah, NASA training would not have even gotten me there. Uh, you know, you see those people in the planes and they throw up. The vomit, vomit, it, the vomit comment. Yeah, yeah. That's exactly how I felt. When I came out, of, I would take it off. I was like, oh. <sighs> and again, I'm, I'm having moved from my seat. <laughs> yeah. But that's how I still felt after all that. So, yeah. Interesting game. Um, I hope that people enjoy it. I thought it was there was enjoyable elements. I just can't imagine. Like, it's not for everyone. It's 100% not for everyone, especially if you get motion sickness easy. I know some people get motion sickness very easy in VR. Yeah. I don't feel like that's me, and I got very motion sickness for this game. So that it is. If I had to give them some improvement, I would say you have 360 degrees around you, six degrees of freedom. Please present information in a more playful way like when i go in the menu the menu is playful i can walk around the little menu area i can open a book i can read it i can sign it with my hand like that's all fun but when like i was going through the intros again they just showed us like this little it wasn't even like a it was like a pixel pgn black and white image that was like up here and it was like 2d and i was like you could have definitely put more effort into this <laughs> shit you could have put like a an image here an image there and like faded away and like where i felt it more than i it was face yeah it was like the laziest way and maybe they did that and i just fucking missed it or some shit but it, they, it felt so lazy it's like you gotta be kidding me this is what you came up with this for the sake anyway all that said i can't play the game ever again <laughs> the two times i did play it, the first time was fun at first and then until like torture the second time was like all right Whew. let's go <laughs> no I, I i'm done with that game again it, it ain't for me but there's a game there that could be fun. Mm -hmm. Just keep in mind that if you get motion sickness easily, then this game is not for you. Um, and I can't imagine anyone can actually play that. It's I hate that shit on the game because I'm not trying to. But after I in, played in your it, experience. yeah, after I played, I was like, man, I don't know how anyone could do it. But yeah, we'll see. We'll see. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Uh, that was Dre's review of the VR game Attack on Titan. Uh, check it out. He played, he played on Quest Three. Yeah. Is it, is it available on Quest 2 as well? Uh, so, Meta Quest 2 and Quest 3, they're very similar, so I assume it is. Um, the only thing that the Quest 3 just has better tracking. tracking. Yeah, way, way better tracking and more a passive see through uh, than the Quest 2. But the Quest 2, all the games I did play, they worked fine. Cool. So, we'll put links in the bottom to buy the game, where to buy it. Um, thanks for watching, and we shall see you later. Attack on Titans, go! I don't know. I don't know enough about this. I'm pretty sure they had to say it someday. Until they go. They always look like they're yelling. That's the one thing I remember at Tagana. They yell a lot. <laughs>